see, now we have, yeah, we have the microphone, we have the, the camera that is not doing it. For some reason, it's not focusing well, but, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it's, it's more for the... Okay. Yeah. So, Berkeley is going to be on the assisted linear model. Mm -hmm. Great research university. It wants to get its things out and find a way. Mm -hmm. So and, 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 and you agree with me that this is also probably going to be the model for, for Stanford and for the MIT? Not or? quite. No? Not quite. Uh -huh. Okay, because uh, at uh, Stanford you had the development of design thinking. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, which means you find the needs and uh -huh. then you p apply the knowledge that the university has to solve it. Uh -huh. So that's the beginning of a reverse linear model. I see. Okay, so, so there you, 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 you're claiming that there you have the two models happening at the same time. Yes, uh, a bit uh, of the uh, second, uh -huh. not a, a small piece of it. Uh -huh. Much obviously, the much stronger one is from the research, is from the linear model. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, but there's a few pieces that try to go in the other direction by still by reaching out, because mm -hmm. after this is not input from the society, mm -hmm. it's going out from the university uh, to find the needs and then do something with them. Mm -hmm. So it's still linear with mm -hmm. some input uh -huh. from the outside society. Right, and you claim that the most of this uh, uh, input from the, outs uh, the outside society comes from the fact that you were involved from the beginning with you're the design. You're looking for it. You're looking yeah, for uh -huh. it uh -huh. yeah. in order to uh, assist mm -hmm. uh, people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, <laughs> then, and then the next piece of it, sometimes you have the development of social entrepreneurship mm -hmm. where from the business, they want to assist mm -hmm. people and communities develop some kind of organization of an entrepreneurial sort, yeah. not necessarily having to do with advanced technology, but something that meets a local need. Mm -hmm. Or something in between a bit of technology and uh, the local need. And is this something that you see around here? Because well, I don't. <laughs> not maybe, I don't know about Berkeley, uh -huh. but you have a little bit of this at Stanford. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. and it. I'm not. I'm not ac an expert either here. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. mean, I've been okay. here for a year, so. Yeah, uh, but so I, but it's usually uh, it comes up in the business school from some. Mm -hmm. You have a few socially yeah. oriented. Oh, yeah, that, the, and, and, and there's also there, there are some socially oriented programs as well. Yeah. Okay, for sure. so yeah. then yeah. probably yeah, yeah, yeah there's some. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's a it's a minor feature, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, usually. Mm -hmm. Okay, but at uh, other types of universities, say in Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, Univali and Vivali, mm -hmm. they're they spend most of their time, half the day, uh, looking for problems mm. and how to apply the university's knowledge. Yeah, I, I have the feeling that our universities, and particularly, well, you're mentioning uh, some universities that are more like related to foundations and things like that, but mainly the, the public uh, um, federal universities, they are very focused on social problems. Uh, maybe too much. Are they? In, yeah, they are. Oh, uh, okay, that's uh, a change. Yeah. Oh, the, but but you you were visiting what with uh, Unicamp and uh, and uh, 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 Federal Rio de Janeiro. Uh, uh, they uh, copiage, co uh, co copia uh, Yes, uh -huh. yes, but they mm -hmm. were mostly uh, in the research direction or working uh -huh. with larger companies. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Anyway, I wouldn't say that they were deeply involved uh -huh. in the local society, uh -huh. but some of the other universities were. Yeah. Branches of the State University of Rio had branches out in smaller cities, mm -hmm. and they were trying to uh, assist. Yeah, maybe it, it's uh, over the last few years there has been a push towards what we call well extension. But our okay. extension is a little different yeah. to to yours here. I guess it's extension is really you know connecting yeah. to to you know to the society society that yes. is paying yeah. my salary, yeah. for example connecting to society okay. that is paying for the students to have a scholarship. Sure. Okay, yeah. well, there's always new yeah. developments. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This is something that doesn't stop at no. any one place. Yeah. It's no. always moving and changing. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I think what is interesting about Berkeley is that it's, it's a second mover. Mm -hmm. It's trying to catch up to Stanford. Mm -hmm. And because it has more intellectual resources, more research firepower, mm -hmm. it has a, a possibility of uh, going further. Than Stanford mm -hmm. in a short time. Mainly in that linear uh, yes, model. Yes, in that linear model. In that linear model. So that's as far as that's what it's trying to do. Uh -huh. That's what it's trying to accomplish to catch up and first surpass Stanford. Well, it in definitely a really has a much time. larger scale, right? Exactly. As in in terms of research. Are uh, much larger, the yeah. PhDs, much larger numbers, postdocs. 
uh, much larger numbers. We should probably get the numbers uh, to compare. Uh -huh. But um, when it comes to scale, like, oh, just in the, another topic of library budgets, mm -hmm. the University of California's library budgets mm -hmm. are on a scale that can influence the publishers. Stanford's are not. I it's a great that. library, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but it's nothing like the scale of funding. Uh -huh. And so Stanford watches to see what the University of California will do uh -huh. in dealing with the publishing companies. Because uh -huh. it has much greater clout, to use that old-fashioned uh -huh. political term. So the fact that they are now starting to be, you know, to, to, to be a little tougher on the, on the uh, publishers uh, may be a good thing, because uh, it, it may help everyone get... Yes. get, get, yes. get knowledge for, yeah, if not for free, for yeah, cheaper. But the basic <laughs> point is that the University of California has the scale of resources to have that effect. Uh -huh, I see. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, Stanford is not at that scale and recognizes mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that uh, you see us on a much larger scale. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so why hasn't, uh, why is it only now that you see us moving in this direction? Mm -hmm. Why did it take so long? Is, the, is one question. Oh, okay, uh, uh, and uh, you you want a quick and a quick answer from some uh, from someone who oh, only has an impression. I think I can give the answer too. Oh, but you so go ahead. No, my, my impression right, is is uh, uh, at, at, well, uh, I, 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 I wouldn't be talking only. Uh, I, I'm probably a little influenced by our position here with the with this Berkeley postdoc thing. For the postdocs, it's definitely because. We're figuring out that there is no more academic uh, uh, room for all of them. Yes. Uh, so okay. But so but I guess this is only from the perspective of those that are already at the higher end of the right. No. Okay. Uh, well, yes, definitely uh, necessity. Yeah. And, and is, is driving it. Uh, and IP, right? Towards also. that. IP also. Uh, probably. What was moving it away was a strong belief that a public university should not be involved with business. In the past. In the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh -huh. what we were talking uh -huh. about, is yeah. what kept it away mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a very strong factor, feeling that that was not the role of the university. But what What would have changed that? Would have changed that? Uh, well, what La changes lack of resources? it... Changes it no. Lack of resources, maybe? That's or? one thing. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that changes it is an opportunity that's too great to ignore. Mm -hmm. And so uh, uh, in the biotechnology area, this university has been active uh, for decades. Yeah. It, again, it was just too uh, great a potential to be ignored. Uh, people from the venture capital community came to the university. Some of the inventions were made jointly with faculty from Stanford, mm -hmm. and so they were commercialized yeah. together. Yeah, Th this, is a, this is a very clever thing that they do here that I, I, I never thought of in Brazil. In fact, in general, universities in Brazil, uh, well, they, they usually don't even file patents for for many of the, the things that are done in, in the universities. And, and, and here, uh, when I notice that universities get together and they bundle, yes. sort of they bundle yes. patents together and, and they and then they yeah. advertise the bundle, not... Yeah. not well, that should be yeah, happening clever, yeah. more and more in Brazil yeah. now. There's yeah. now technology transfer offices mm -hmm. around the universities. There's an association yep. of the offices. So I should think they'll be catching up to that pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it, it, it's probably uh, in Brazil we also have this problem that this Berkelian problem that you're saying that we feel a little shy of doing business. Okay, there's a strong uh, uh, an you know. anti-business uh, attitude in many of the universities mm -hmm. for various historic reasons. Uh, that's certainly a uh, a factor. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, it made it a barrier for the incubators to start some decades ago, but they managed to overcome that and become accepted. Uh, so it's uh, it's moving and changing process, mm -hmm. but certainly the uh, austerity mm -hmm. in the universities has been a driving force uh, affecting Berkeley mm -hmm. in particular. Mm -hmm. that state funding is now less than yeah. 10%. Yeah. And this is also happening in Brazil. We just had a severe yes. cut. You know, it's, uh, yes. the government is, is saying that it's not, it's not a cut, it's just a Money has been contingent uh, for a while until yeah. they they know if they have the money, but uh, and, and that that makes us think we'll have to f find ways of surviving out of yes. our own. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So so that's something that on the long term uh, we'll earn. In the short term, it's a matter of investment. And 
much longer than a lot of other things. Yeah, and, and, and these guys here are the guys who, who act, that's why we wanted to, to, to talk to this guy, because although he was uh, Ipira, he's, this, this is below that, but this is a guy, this is actually the guy that, the guy that we wanted to interview that was not available, available to us. Today. Uh, so he is a guy, that, he's the guy that put this together. This chart. This chart. Oh, definitely. My, 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 my yeah, understanding. Yeah, definitely you know, want to speak yeah, to yeah. Uh, Okay, so what's so the difference between the Office of Intellectual Property and the Office of Technology Licensing? Uh, yeah, th this, this is under that. Okay. From so my okay. understanding, yeah. Uh, so, Research Alliances, that sounds like yeah, liaison with companies. These guys, these guys uh, what, what, what these guys do is that they um, advise uh, researchers on even on how to, to well how to deal with comp ma many companies want many times to, to have uh, space <coughs> in, a, in a lab yes. uh, or they want to uh, sponsor uh, something or they or they just want some research, research yes. to be directed to their needs and everything yes. and these guys are the ones that uh, probably are, are that you, you you reach for for that and in fact, they have even figured out a way of doing things inside the university mm -hmm. that do not become a university property. There's there's one exclusion. That's interesting. It's a uh, they call it SOFI. I think it's SOFI agreement. Uh, it's okay. Let's find out about yeah, that. Yeah, that, that that agreement uh, uh, allows for 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 a company to that has an ID and everything to come into to, to use the, the labs even to. Use the time of uh, researchers uh, and still keep their yes. their mm -hmm. okay so th this is something yeah, that yeah, uh, no, I, I have uh, you know I, I, I already have more information about this from, from most of these boxes here I I, I you know I have collected information because I've recorded a lot of videos yeah and I've uh, I've also recorded some audio, and also this this uh, person, this researcher from the European uh, Community, she has done several interviews. That as I'm I'm reviewing her the report that she's preparing for for the yes. European Community, I've already asked, could I have access yes. to your sure. uh, interview? Yeah. So we we'll also have that material Good. if Good. Uh, at, yeah. at some stage to support. But I you know uh, I still I'm I'm I'm, I'm thinking more of. A, a, Something that is, it, it could almost be, uh, be a, not, not what a, I don't know if it's something that you would call a white paper, but not necessarily so concerned with the rigor of the methodology of how to get right. the information, but yes. about the thoughts, you know. And yes, to uh, express the thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's very possible. I like that idea as an objective. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to be a full blown method. Yeah, you know, like piece, uh, all, all, piece, uh, all pieces of information we got through the same method. We started a new format in the Triple Helix Journal, mm -hmm. the scientific essay. Mm -hmm. We explained the whole process of what you're studying mm -hmm. and your findings mm -hmm. and your conclusions, mm -hmm. but you don't have to go into detail mm -hmm. about the methodology mm -hmm. or the literature. Mm -hmm. And my feeling is that people are writing the same literature review yeah. over and over again, a hundred times. And, and many times, uh, it's, it's that... Uh, Discussion of always be, of uh, rigor or relevance. Uh, well, you, you've been uh, is longer than I have. I'm a little tired of yeah. too much rigor and no relevance. Yes. I, I, I think that we definitely that's have good, to be rigorous. You that's know, a good, it's, yeah. that's a good uh, point. Mm. I like that. Mm. Too much rigor, a little relevance. Yeah, too it's, it's, little. Yeah. Yeah. Relevance. Yeah. It's n it's not my saying. It's, it's something. I mean, we've yeah. been discussing that, that yeah. a lot in, in okay. academia. Well, let me tell you something that's just started last last night. Mm -hmm. I got a message from the uh, Regional Science Association. Mm -hmm. They're having a competition mm -hmm. for a research, uh, small research grant mm -hmm. that the society is going to give out, mm -hmm. more or less on the topic that we're talking about. Uh -huh. And I'm talking to the people in the Triple Helix Association about putting together a proposal mm -hmm. in which this would be one of the case studies. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that would uh, give us comparative yeah. data from yeah. other places, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as well as uh, if we need some. There he is. That's. Huh. Okay. Let me just uh, let's Terrific. stop here and. Yes.